Right then, so today I'm going to show you how to tape a system. So this is one of my old ones and from 2020, so a good couple of years old. Um, so I use tape all the way around, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, we get a tape. Now, you can use any tape you like. Me personally, I use one called Ultra Hold. I just find this what works best for me. So what I always do, being right-handed myself, put a little bit on my finger, little snip. Pretty much always trying to keep it as tight to the edge of my finger as I can. Now I always start here and try to keep it as close to that edge as possible. Now at home, I would always, I do this on my knee, I don't usually put it on a block. So what I would do at home, I'll show you on this half, is like that. I would fold that lace, uh, that lace, that backing up as I cut the next part. This bit needs a slight curve, so what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to do it without cutting my fingers off on the camera. Cut a slight curve on there, just by cutting that corner off. And then I always overlap and fold down. So that's two bits, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you one more bit, and then I'm just gonna do the taping up and show you how to create a curve on this bit. So another bit of tape cut. Now to cut the curve, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut each corner off on a slight bend. So you get like a curve, sorry, I just wanna show you there, a little curve section. And then all I'm doing is laying it gently onto that edge, overlapping. So as you can see, it's starting to curve around. Now I'm gonna do all of this and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit more. Yeah, again, same principle as we're doing the front. Now, some people glue the front and we'll show you that in another video. But what we're doing, I know I've got to create a slight bit bigger curve now because it's on this front edge. So what I'm doing, it's creating a slightly bigger curve. And all I do, overlap, get it as tight to that edge as possible, place it down. So when you're taping up all the way around, this is basically how we do it, is one big loop, which I will finish. And then if we were doing tape and glue, which some people do because they like to expose the hairline, we would, instead of carrying on to this front section, we would do a band across there. I like to call it the anchor point, so it looks a bit like a D. And then basically that helps where you know where the tape's there. When you clean it and you're doing a front touch up, you can stop because you know the tape's there. 